Welcome Pisces, this is the Empress. I'm happy to have you here with me today. We're gonna jump into the month of December. We're gonna see what energy is coming towards you. Um, and these messages are very general. So if they resonate, great. If they don't, check your moon and your rising, okay? This energy as well can go vice versa. This could be your energy or a partner's energy or someone that um, is around you's energy, okay? All right, so these messages are going to be for, you know, the month of December. And let's see what's coming towards you, Pisces. Can I get an overall message for Pisces, please? Give me an overall message for Pisces. Please give me an overall message for Pisces. All right, Pisces. We have rejoice and celebration, okay? So you could be reuniting with someone. You could be celebrating. You could be um, hanging out with friends, partying a little bit, drinking a little bit. But there is most definitely um, a reuniting or coming back together or, you know, being around a social circle here. All right, what other message is there for Pisces? What other message is there for Pisces? Ooh. All right, we have firm foundation and solitude. So maybe some of you guys are possibly coming out of solitude, okay? Some of you guys have been taking time, been meditating to yourself, taking that time, doing the inner work, okay? Doing some soul searching. And I feel like some of you guys are ready to mingle, get out there, hanging out, and just, you know, being more social. I feel like there was a time where you possibly... You know, we're contemplating. We have solitude, which is the hermit card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo. But this is just, you know, taking time to meditate. You've been isolating yourself. Maybe you've been in hiding, you know, not really being very social. Okay, but I feel like there's about to be a busting out. Pisces is coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know and let it show. I'm coming Give me an overall message for Pisces. Ooh, that wanted to jump out. It wanted to. Give me an overall message for Pisces, please. For the month of December. For the month of December. For the month of December. All right, look, we got the magician. All right, so you're manifesting your desires. You have all the tools that you need, okay? You have all the tools that you need, okay? You're a master manifester right now, okay? What message? Okay. Oh, Nine of Cups. Okay. Look, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment. All right. What other message is there for Pisces? What other messages is there for Pisces? Oh, yes. Look, we got the sun. We got the sun card. We got the sun card. All right. So you guys are having fun. You're happy. You're positive. You're looking at things in the most positive way. I feel like you took time to meditate on exactly what it is that you want. I feel like a lot of you guys are going after what you want, okay? Going after what you want. Going after your desires, okay? You're getting what you want. You're going after what you want, okay? Going after what you want. Going after what you want. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm getting as well like some of you guys want to make something clear. You've waking up, you've woken up to exactly what it is that you want. Maybe you're tired of settling. Okay. 
look here we go again with the hermit card all right see yes some of you guys yeah there we go the same cards just came out that came out um with the psychic tarot came out again okay the four of swords and the hermit card a lot of you guys have been isolating yourself because you have been in hermit mode you've been using visualizations you've been doing everything that you could you've taken the time okay you've taken the time that you need to reevaluate everything look at everything see what it is that you did what was done wrong thinking of ways to make it right you guys have took that time so you guys were in hermit mode okay and you've been taking the time to meditate you've been you've been I'm getting visualizations. A lot of you guys have possibly been using visualization tactics, okay? Then, and I feel like now you're ready to manifest, okay? Ready to manifest, all right? This is this is good. This is good. We got the moon card, okay? The moon card, which is the card of Pisces, okay? So, you possibly have been, some of you guys possibly have been using magic, okay? Candle magic is what I'm getting as well. Um, but you have taken the time in the dark. We got the moon card here and the sun card here. So, something has, maybe you guys are having an aha moment. You've been taking that time in the dark to do your reevaluating, thinking about exactly what it is, your target, what you want, and you're ready to manifest those desires, okay? You're ready. Future energy. Give me future energy for Pisces. Future energy for Pisces. Future energy for Pisces. Future energy for Pisces. Give me future energy for Pisces, please. <laughs> Look at this. The Emperor. The Emperor, baby. Aries is energy, but you're, you're bossed up, okay? You took this time, Pisces, to think about what exactly what it is that you want, what you want for the new year. You're ready to take this leap of faith, okay? You're ready to take action, okay? Ooh, Pisces. Why is the magician here? Ugh. All right, look. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you are ready to take action. You're ready to take action, okay? You're ready to take action. Look, star card. Some of you guys are Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. You've been waiting for this moment. You are getting ready to shine. You are getting ready to shine. Okay, you are getting ready to shine. You know exactly what it is that you want. Nine of Cups. I'm getting wish come true. Something that you have been contemplating on. You're ready to come out. You're ready to show the world. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The world. You ready to show the world? You ready to show the world? You ready to come out, Pisces? Oh my gosh. Ooh, look. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Everything is just popping out. Good fortune. Good luck. Wow. Wow. Woo! Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but a lot of you guys are ready to get your, you're ready, okay? You're focused on your finances and your career. Some of you guys have been thinking and contemplating on ways to make money, different avenues to make money. I'm getting multiple streams of income, okay? Ooh, you've been waiting, waiting for these ships to come in. Look at you, Pisces, Queen of Cups. You've been waiting for the ships. You're waiting. You've been waiting for the ships to come in, okay? They're coming. They're on the way. Why is the emperor here? 
Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? This is personal, Pisces. Why is the emperor here? I'm getting that also that a lot of you guys have been using your natural gifts. You're ready to use. If there's something that you're good at naturally, utilize that. Whatever it is, it's going to work out in your favor. Why is the emperor here? Some of you guys are going to be bosses, your own boss. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, Pisces, 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 Pisces. I'm so thrilled and I'm excited. Okay, but we have the Emperor and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so a lot of you guys are investing, are going to be making boss moves. And look at this Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so your focus is most definitely on legacy, long-term, different streams of income. Multiple streams of income is what I'm getting for Pisces. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You guys, you guys, if you're working or trying to start a business or is focused really on your career, you got it, okay? It's coming. It's coming. Why is the hermit here? Past energy. Why is the hermit here in past energy? You turned your back or someone possibly turned their back on you. You decided you, I feel like you guys have, have we got the eight of cups and the hermit card. Okay. So you took some time off. Okay. You took some time off. There was some drama, okay? Some of you guys are coming out of drama or coming out of something that was not any good for you. You would have you worried, nine of swords, and there's possibly conflict or competition surrounded around this. We got the ten of wands. Yeah, there was a lot of drama, okay? Surrounded possibly a love, a love triangle. Someone could possibly even been married here, okay? Or this could be family, as well we got the four of wands we got the lovers so it makes me feel like this was pertaining to a marriage or a love or something that someone that you was with for a long time the situation possibly you felt like you had to turn your back and drop this situation okay now being that you turned your back on this situation you've been putting your focus i'm picking up studying as well a lot of you guys are shifting your focus okay towards your goals your personal goals and it's going to work in your favor why is the sun card here we got leo's energy leo's energy why is the sun Ooh. okay look something about being happy with a decision because you got i'm telling you i'm picking up multiple streams of income i'm picking up multiple things Maybe you are, you have a lot of gifts, a lot of talents that you're ready to share with the world, okay? I'm also picking up on the strength card, which is Leo's, Leo's energy. So maybe you're conversing or having a conversation um, with a Leo because I'm picking up on communication here, but, or having, or, or trying to, you know, talking it out with someone to see, you know, if you have the courage or the strength to make this happen. You are the manifester. Okay, you're a master manifester right now. Utilize this energy, Pisces. You're going to get far. Most definitely. Most definitely, Pisces. This is possibly like the best reading that I've ever. But you guys, Pisces has been getting very good readings. Um, they, I think Pisces had a good reading last month, um, if I'm not mistaken. But for... Um, People that get personal readings from me, their energy has been Pisces. I'm noticing that um, their energy, 
Pisces is energy is shifting into career and finances. Okay. So with that being said, let's look into love and let's see what messages we have for love. I'm excited for Pisces. I'm excited for Pisces. I'm so I'm so thrilled. Okay, so What messages are there for Pisces in love? What's coming towards Pisces in love? I feel like y'all aren't even studying love like that. You probably have, you know, options in love or you. I just feel like your main focus right now is building a long-term legacy, your funds, your family. Like your focus, you're zeroed in on that. But let's see what messages we have in love, okay? What messages is there for Pisces in love? What message is there for Pisces in love? I feel like Pisces has been planting their seeds. You possibly been missing out on fun because you are focused on long term. You're looking at long term stability. Look, we got reconciliation. So someone from your past is possibly going to be trying to come back, come back in. OK. Someone from the past is going to be coming back, expressing their love to you. OK. But keep this in mind, Pisces. You need to pay attention to the red to the red flags. Okay, so immediately I'm picking up on someone from the past is going to be recognizing, you know, that you haven't been calling or messaging or reaching out or asking how they were doing. Someone comes back around to express their emotions and their feelings towards you. Okay, give me one more card. Give me give me one more card for Pisces. What what is coming towards Pisces in December? We have passion, yeah. Someone is most definitely very, very, very attracted to you, Pisces. We got attraction here. Someone is most definitely very, very attracted to you, okay? Someone most definitely wants to have some romantic, passiony moments with you, okay? So that may be something that you need to look to pay attention to because they possibly want to come back around to have sex, okay? That may be their only intentions. Okay, let me get one more card for Pisces, please. Give me one more card for Pisces. Give me one more card for Pisces, please. What is coming towards Pisces in December for love? December. All right, look, we got honeymoon. Okay, so enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. But this could be someone that's at a distance from you. Okay, maybe they've been distant from you. And I'm still getting trust and pay attention to the red flags. Okay, I'm not sure if you could trust this person, Pisces. Someone from the past is going to try to come back in. I feel like their only intentions is to have sex or to get some type of reaction from you. Um, they're really, really attracted to you, but I think it's sexually. Like, you do something for them sexually. Um, but And I feel like either they're coming in and coming in quick and then leaving out quickly. Um, we got trust and pay attention to the red flags. So most definitely keep your guard up for someone that's coming back from the past, okay? All right, Pisces. I hope this message resonated. 
this was like the best reading for Pisces that I've ever done, okay? Especially as a collective reading. Um, if you would like to book your very own personal reading, that information will be in the drop box below. Um, I am running new client specials, okay? So check that information down in the drop box below, okay? Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Don't forget to like, comment with your um, comment, and share with your family and your friends. All right, click the bell to subscribe. All right, my loves. Ciao for now.